Hey everybody, this is Brandon from betteratEverything.info. Today's video, I'm going to show you how to send an AutoCAD drawing. Um, normally, you can just send the .dwg, and if somebody that you're sending it to has AutoCAD, it'll open up right away. But what do you do if you have a drawing like this one, where you've got two, three, four, maybe even 20 different drawings referenced? back to the original drawing. If you send your base drawing, this one's called waterline example, the other drawings aren't included so they're going to have broken references that are just going to show uh, an exclamation mark here that says they need to be reloaded but they're not going to have the file that it's being referenced to. So in order to send everything you need including any different plot styles or uh, uh, plot configuration files like a .ctb in order to send everything you need so that it'll open up perfectly when you're uh, when the person you're sending it to gets it, you're going to want to use an e-transmit command. Uh, you can type that into the command line or in the uh, start menu or pull down of the little A in the corner here. You simply go to publish and e-transmit. So it's going to ask us to save our drawing. I just hit save, and now it brings up the transmittal uh, dialog box. So it's going to ask you which drawing you want to send. If you've got multiple ones open, you can send them all. Uh, I'm going to select waterline example, and I'm also going to make sure that the external references in this drawing are selected. So I'm going to make sure these are checked. You can go into transmittal setups. If you'd like to change anything, you can modify. And here are all your options of how it's going to transmit and what's going to be included. Uh, I typically leave it as a zip file because that's pretty common nowadays. And you can get a free uh, zip software online pretty easily. Uh, I include uh, textures and all the files from the data links. Uh, you can include fonts if you're using a custom font. Um, and that's about it. So once you've got your settings all set up, you're going to hit OK and close that dialog box. So now you can see it's got my fonts, all the shapes needed, and my external references all included. So it's going to be 1001 kilobytes, so 1 megabyte. That's not too bad. So to send your uh, file, hit OK, and it's going to ask you where you'd like to save it. So I'm going to just save it into my CAD demo folder. I'm going to name it waterline example. I'm just going to erase that part. Waterline example.zip. And there we go. It's saved. And if you go open up a new window, you can go to my documents, AutoCAD. Where do I have that? There we go. Waterline example. So you open up your uh, zip file. And there you have it. You've got your waterline example drawing, the XRFs that were included, as well as the font, font files, and a text explaining how to use it. It's very easy to do. Anybody can do it, and it makes the uh, sender like you a lot more. Uh, if you've got any questions, feel free to ask in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe and check out the website, betteratEverything.info. Thanks for watching. Cheers.